Finally, the moment I've been waiting for. It's starting to warm up around here. For us astrophotographers, it means our precious nebula dip below the horizon, hidden for months and reserved for only the wee hours of the morning. Galaxy season is here. Now I've got to admit, I've never really liked galaxy season. For a street astro imager like me, it's really hard to get enough exposure time in monochrome LRGB. I mean, I've tried, but it's just never ended well. All right, so I'm sitting in the car for a little bit, trying to get warm. It's clearing up right now. My subs are looking great. And I think I'm gonna be good for the rest of the night, but I am grateful that it's not raining right now. Oh, 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 oh. And that was true for a really long time. Until last year, when I decided to try out my first one-shot color camera. <laughs> wow, this thing is huge compared to my other cameras, right? And it really did make a difference. I was capturing color all at once, even though it was not as sensitive as mono. All right, imaging is underway. It is a beautiful night tonight, guys. No moon, check that out. And I got a late start, actually. And I have to go to work in the morning. Oh, I'm gonna be so tired, but it's gonna be so worth it. Here it is. I just got the Ascar 103 with my uh, ZW071 and getting some data on the pinwheel galaxy right now. And then finally, after years, I got my first successful photo of M101, the pinwheel galaxy. But I wanted more. I know there was blue in the pinwheel galaxy. I just didn't get it with the amount of time that I had. And just like that, I was hooked on galaxies. I also realized how special they were. I learned that the Pinwheel Galaxy and also our galaxy were bound together by gravity. Not only that, 50 other confirmed galaxies were also part of this group, and there might be more. Here I was photographing one of them from millions of light years away. And I couldn't wait to get another chance to shoot them. To look up and wonder who else is out there. And knowing that we're all connected by this invisible force. I'm a little bit more prepared than I was last year. Last year I enjoyed galaxy season with my refractor. And I absolutely love my Ascar 103. But to bring those galaxies in closer, I had to shoot them at f7. This year I have a super fast Newtonian, with nearly the same amount of reach. I'll just be acquiring data three times faster than I was last year. And my plan is to combine all of my data.
But still I hear that song It lingers so The area I'm in is such a creative space for aviation. RC aviation, especially. And it's also where I learned how to be an RC pilot nearly 20 years ago. It was just really nice to see everybody out and about doing their own thing. I get so wrapped up in my own stuff, sometimes I just forget what's going on around me. Maybe that's why I love astrophotography so much. It forces you to slow down. And I've needed an afternoon like this. It was a perfect way to spend time waiting for the sun to go down. And as every moment passes, and people start to pack up and go home. My night begins. good and check out the stay on back cap we're looking good up here looks perfectly center especially with that crosshair Ooh, we're gonna have a good night and if any of y'all want one of these check out the description I got them for you imaging is underway tonight and I'm going for four minutes up tonight I don't know if that's too much or whatnot it seems like I'm exposing quite a bit of M101. And remember, I'm shooting at just under F4. So hopefully I just end up with a lot of data in this limited amount of time that I have tonight. Also, some astrophotographers just rolled up. I see a telescope out there. And yeah, they're kind of uh, on the other end of this place. I can just see the shadow of a telescope. So that's pretty cool. It hasn't been exactly clear tonight. I've had clouds come in and out. Uh, they're very thin though. So it's gonna be interesting to see what this data looks like. I'm just hoping I get enough of it, you know what I mean? We got people racing down the street right now. Check that out. It's like a speedway down here in the middle of the night. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, it's that time of the night again. I'm taking my flats, and I stayed out a lot longer than I thought I would. I got about six hours of data altogether. So combined with last year's, I think I have about 10 hours of data on M101. It's all gonna be worth it, at least I hope. Well, I guess this is good night, guys. Things have definitely changed within the last year. I find myself looking forward to this time of year, and I never thought I'd own a one-shot color camera, but it's opened up new possibilities for me, and I've been enjoying astrophotography in so many different ways. And since I'm doing this on the street, it takes me a little bit longer to get a photo. And when I think about it, what might take a few nights for some could take years for me to do. But with that, my version of the hobby is never rushed because one photo could give me many adventures. And there's a certain joy of seeing your photo improve over time. And from where I'm sitting this year, I've got 10 hours on the Pinwheel Galaxy. Now what's that old saying about April showers? I guess we'll see. <laughs> 